My name is Brian Nylander. I was the design manager for the Challenger exterior. My name is Jeff Gale. I was lead exterior designer on the Dodge Challenger. What working on this car means to me is, you know, I think back to like when I was in high school and I remember when the Dodge Viper came out, the show car, and I remember going to the show and looking at that thinking, oh my God, this is so cool. And then of course that car comes out into production, you know, and you, you see that happen and you think, man, I'd love to be a part of something like that. And then, you know, whatever, 15 years down the road, you know, here you are, you're involved in a project that's, it's the same storyline, you know, here's our show car and now we're putting this thing into production and then they asked Jeff and I to work on this. And it's really, yeah. I mean, it's, it sounds kind of cliched, but it is kind of a dream come true, you know. It's, it's, it's very cool to be um, involved with a car like that, a very iconic car. You know, it's going to be, this thing is yeah. going to be part of books and magazines for years to come. Um, it's going to be a part of history. And uh, just to be associated with it, yeah. to actually have, have, have helped it come to life, um, I think for, for me as a designer is, is you know, this is why I came to do this job. This is why I came yeah. to Chrysler. This is why I wanted to be a designer. We've had different projects roll through the studio and being lucky enough to be in Studio 3 at that time. You know, we went through Magnum and Charger and, you know, and then this vehicle. And it's just, you know, cream of the crop. You know, what, what better project to work on? So as a designer, that, that's what's very cool. You know, to watch that process and watch the vehicle go from, you know, clay to concept to, you know, something that we had to do in production and that challenge that we had to produce that vehicle and have it meet its targets as far as cost and, you know, the, the aero targets that we had. It was a lot of fun. It was a very cool program to work on. And then again, from an enthusiast standpoint, I'm an enthusiast myself. I have an old roadrunner myself. So it's, you know, I came at it from two ends. It's not only a dream from a designer's perspective, but from an enthusiast, you know, you get the chance to work on the new Challenger. So mm -hmm. it's a, it was just an awesome perspective and, you know, two different ways for me. And just as designers, you know, it was a lot of fun. I think when we saw it at the show, there was general, a lot of excitement behind it. And we kind of sensed that, you know, within the company that it probably was going to go into production. And being that we were part of the LX studio, um, we kind of sensed that maybe it'd be moving into our studio. So there was some excitement there. And, uh, you know, I think just, just sensing that, it's like we were just waiting to dive into it. And it started probably, you know, within the week after the auto show, it really took off. Leading up to the auto show, Buzz was building around the vehicle in design office because we all knew it was coming. You know, we had the advanced knowledge of that coming out, knowing that Mike Casty and, uh, and Alan were working on the car at Pacifica. We knew that was coming, so it's like the buzz started building in within product design office, and then it came out at the show, and we saw what kind of reaction it got. It's like, oh boy, we're just chopping at the bit to get at it. So yeah. it was really exciting. There wasn't a feeling of a whole lot of pressure. At least I didn't get the sense of there being a whole lot of pressure when we got the assignment. It was one of those things. It's like, okay, guys, you know, we have the theme already. You know, the concept car was what we have to package over the LX platform. So we knew what we had to do. We had a theme already. We already had full-size models going, so a lot of the groundwork was laid ahead of time, and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of shuffling around. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure on us. It was really kind of a almost a hands-off approach in a way. I mean, it was obviously in the eye of everyone, but you know everything was there, and we just had to execute. So it was it was a great program. There was an intensity there, you know, at the beginning of the program too, because it was very much, you know, go fast, execute the concept yeah. car, and uh, I think as a designer, you kind of you relish that because you know it's a hot project they're going to do this, you've got a clear target, you're going after it. So I think, you know, for Jeff and I, it was like, we knew what we were involved with, we were excited about it, and we were just kind of, you know, like Jeff said, there wasn't a whole lot of hands-on, um, exactly. I guess, you know, looking after us. Just run with it, just make the concept. The challenge is for us to go to get this car onto the platform and still have the right character and maintain the proportion and keep the line work and the character that... Uh, you know that the concept had was the width of the car when you look at the, the concept vehicle it's over four inches wider than where the, the actual production car is so just the very nature that we had to put on our production platform make everything work and still keep the character was one of the things that you know was was the challenge for us essentially in some ways in some some people's minds we actually made the car look better so it's it was a lot of fun for us to to do those things and have that challenge behind us and have that kind of carried out in front of us of you know the concept car and you know everybody's reaction to that car was so positive and you know just having the chance to work on that car was just so exciting for us you know it, it only happens a few times you look back at the viper um the prowler you know those were show cars that were shown and it was such good feedback when it happened that we had to do the production car and 
you know, this is of the same lineage. This is one of those opportunities where here's the show car, everyone wants it, and now do it. So it's, you know, it's kind of historical in some regards because of that. You know, you're going to look back on this car 10, 20 years, and you're going to say this is very pure, it's very classic, it's reminiscent of the early car. There's not a lot of things that really sort of period date the car. So I think right. just being able to keep the car clean, I think that was a, a win for everyone in the corporation. Yeah, there's, there's no mistaking that's a Dodge Challenger.